a new day, a new project. Let's see if we can bring this little laptop back to life. You can see nothing happens here. If we use the power supply, same story. Okay, so what is the connector? Ah, right here. No lights, nothing. Perfectly dead. Okay, let's start with checking the power supply for voltage. We should have 19 volts and we have 19.3 volts so the power supply is working as it should nothing else to do but dismantle the laptop let's see what's happening inside there maybe it's the power connector but we can do some other things here let me see if i can reach the there let's put it on home meter let's have a ground here and we have like 70 okay this is good so it's not short i believe the connector is good something else is happening here bottom cover out a few crews are missing that's not a good sign by the way okay two more here I'm using a guitar plectrum to open the laptop. That should be done. Do I have any more screws around here? It's looking like we have another one. So why not is giving up? Oh yes, of course. We got two little ones here. The keyboard and maybe and maybe the mouse. We got no power here. We should have 19 volts, but it's nothing. Maybe I should take out the board. I'm having the hard drive out. This is the screen connector, BIOS, Wi-Fi. And here we have the board. Oh my God. Look at this little tiny processor here. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, it's looking like we don't have a connection to the ground. Very interesting. Let's see why we don't have any power here. Because the connector is looking pretty okay. Yeah, we got 19 volts, but we don't have a ground. Let me try something here. 260 milliamps. Okay, it's looking like we don't have a ground connection here. So, um, how can we fix that? So let me try to have the connector out. Okay, this is out. Let's see what we can do. I don't have another connector, so I have to see. Maybe I can fix this one. Okay, what we got here? Maybe it needs just a little bit of cleaning. We are good. Yeah, so it was a lot of oxidation there. That was the story. But that should be enough. And uh, of course I will use some hot glue to put the things together. Let's have the plus back in place. Okay, let me check this, perfect, that should do the job. Okay, let's put back everything in the case, this one will be hot glued and uh, let's have a test. Okay, let me have the Wi-Fi back in place. Let me have a screw over here because I'm pretty sure the job is done. Okay, and let's power on. <laughs> yeah, of course. There we have the lights. And there we go, there we go. So it's working, this is good. Let me have the BIOS battery back in place. Hmm. 
Now let's have some hot glue to fix uh, this connector here. That should be okay. Lot of screws missing here. But it should be okay like that. Let's have the keyboard back in place. Hard drive, of course. That's okay. The keyboard back in place. Yes. So we should be good to go. Power. Some of the machine started already. Some of, I'm afraid there is an issue with the hard drive. And we are on BIOS. Nice. Let's see if, if it's working. Yes. The keyboard is working. So it's looking like there is a problem with the hard drive. Let's check the hard drive. Uh, I will have uh, an adapter. Oh yes, there is a very clear problem with the hard drive. Okay, so uh, I can't do anything about. This is a slim type hard drive. I don't have anything like that. So uh, for now, I have just to put it back and order another one. And that's it for now. Anyway, I consider this uh, fixed. The hard drive will be replaced, but for now the computer is starting. Okay, something else. Let me see if if we have a charge. Yeah, I think uh, I think the battery is charging. No, it's not. Okay, that's fine. So that's it for today, uh, I consider this a fix, the computer is starting, the connector is back in place, but the battery is gone and the hard drive too, so uh, it needs replacement parts. That's it for today, thank you and uh, don't forget to have fun, bye bye.